and welcome to Fun with Philosophy and Ethics. Today I wanted to chat very briefly to introduce one of the greatest philosophers of all time, Socrates. Socrates is generally regarded as one of the first great philosophers, and the Socratic method, which is commonly used in classrooms, lecture rooms, and even therapy rooms, is attributed to Socrates himself. Socrates was a huge proponent of using questioning to get to the root or underlying beliefs of what people think. He insisted that it was very important for people to have independent thinking and not just go along with the masses. And that's actually a big problem that we have today in modern society. A lot of people don't really take the time to think, think about their actions think about their life goals, think about their values, their principles, their mission, and their purpose. So they drift along letting life just happen to them, letting the media, books, their parents, and their friends tell them what to think and what to do. And a lot of people who even purport to have independent thought, and I know I can often be guilty of this myself, we tend to regurgitate or echo other things that we have heard but we may not actually think them ourselves, or we may not have thought through those ideas enough to know whether or not they are something we even want to think, or something that truly aligns with our inner being. We hear them, and then we go around spouting them off, thinking that this is what we think. So we tend to echo the values of society and the scripting that have been handed on to us generation after generation. I wonder what Socrates would say about that. So in today's world, we have this problem where a lot of people outsource their independent thinking. They wait for the media and other people to tell them what to think. And then they go around spouting off these ideas, thinking they are their own ideas without having ever really sat down and thought them through or questioned the logic of them or the underlying beliefs that those ideas are based on. Do you know what eventually happened to Socrates? Eventually he was killed. Consensus is that he died in 399 BC and it was a forced suicide following a trial whereby he was accused of polluting young minds. And what was this supposed pollution? It was Socrates teaching people to question and to think. Questioning and thinking was deemed to be dangerous. It was deemed to be polluting of the minds. So here we see that independent thinking can be a threat to those who don't want you to think. But it is also your right and your power, and everyone has the ability to think. So the next time you have a new idea or you encounter someone else's opinion, how about you take the time to question it? Question it in your own mind? Bounce it off friends and discuss it with them, but at the end of the day, have your own opinion and think it through. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.